Now this is what the warm-up's going to be. Two groups, I think there's a group of six now and a group of five. Don't mind, don't mind which. And we're going to line up like this. Two blues in here and two reds in here with a ball. And then there'll be one of each group. And when we get the session going, one group will be playing or passing and moving clockwise. And the other group will be going which way? Anti-clockwise. So you've got to constantly be looking. And you have to receive in that square. Now there's going to be interference because there's going to be other bodies in the way. So you've got to find that space to receive. Always follow your pass. So in here now, this is an awareness session. We're looking. Where's that space? Where can I receive it? Where's the other players? Where's the ball? Let's see how we go. Off we go. Uh, we're playing out. Playing out. Don't play to you, mate. Thanks. Follow your pass. Follow your pass. Follow your pass. The idea was that there was one group playing with the ball going one way, another group playing the other way. So there was interference. Now I'm going to test you. These passes have got to be really punched in. So punch through the middle of the ball. Let's tighten up on our touches because some of these touches are bouncing off us. And if we're in a tight area, what's going to happen in the game? We're going to get tackled. So our touch is most important, boys. Off you go. Play. Good. Have a look. Did you look? Did you look? Are you looking? Are you looking? No, hold it there. Harry's had a look. Yeah, got him. Where did his head go then? If I've got a good touch, I don't need to know where that ball is. It's there. It's on the laces, ready. This is where I should be looking. Then we introduced a little bit of combination play, if you like. You said, look, you can come out. You can have a little setback to your mate. He plays it in the other corner. So we introduced a little bit of combination in the warm-up, uh, just to get him switched on to that. I'm going to set you a challenge. Can you come out to receive it? Get it. Have a little pop back into your grid. Get it out. Still working on two touch if we can. Okay? Keep checking. Keep looking. Harry, are you looking? Look where your mate is. Look where your mate is. Have you had a little look? Where's he to? Where's he to? Where's Billy? Can you find him? Where's he to? Can we do it in two touch? Come on. Where's he to? Can you find him? Keep those heads up, boys. So what do we need to be doing in those squares all the time? As that ball's moving, I'm constantly looking there, and I'm looking for my mate, because he's the one who's going to receive it. So I'm looking, where am I going to receive it? Am I in space? Do I stand still? Somebody's in my way. I might have to come out and give it an angle. I might have to come out of the grid if they can't get it through to me and pop it back to him, or turn tight and play in. So decision-making again, do you understand?